There's not much. Very clever. You tempt the goat with a carrot, and he begins to follow you around. You've made a friend. You had better wait for the goat, or he may not follow you. As you start to cross the bridge, a huge hulking troll stomps into view and blocks your way. It is a well-known fact that goats hate trolls intensely. You move aside and let the goat take care of this wretched, nasty troll. The goat lowers his head and runs straight for the troll, butting him right off the bridge and into the river below. That's the last you'll see of that troll. You see a wizened old gnome sitting in front of his house, whittling. This is a pile of gold. There is a small pile of straw here. This is the gnome's spinning wheel. The gnome's house is carved right into the side of the tree. This hole, hollowed into the side of the tree, is the entrance to the gnome's home. It's too dark inside to make out any details, and the gnome probably prefers it that way. That's strange. You... That's strange. Welcome, Sir Graham. I've been expecting you. I have something that will be of great use to you. But first, Sir Graham, you must answer this riddle. I'll give you three guesses. What is my name? right. Outstanding. I didn't think you were that clever. As a reward for your sharp intellect, here are some beans. They're no ordinary beans, but it's up to you to find out why. Somebody as smart as yourself should have no problem at all. <laughs> well, step over here so I can give them to you. Here you are. Good luck on your quest. <laughs> The water is particularly perilous as it passes downstream through this gully. The water is particular. There are many beautiful trees around Daventry. Leafy shrubs and bushes grow in various places around the bridge. There's a bit of undergrowth scattered around the base of the tree. Lovely wildflowers grow profusely in this beautiful green meadow. You can't plant them there. They need special soil.
You plant the magical beans in the fertile soil. Suddenly, something incredible begins to happen. At long last, you see the tip of the beanstalk, thinning and curling as it emerges from the cloud layer below. You are in the land of the clouds. It is rumored that a giant lives up here. These weirdly shaped trees tower over you. You are in the colossal weirdly shaped trees loom far overhead. There is a small dark hole in the base of this tree, but you need to get closer for a better look. You reach into the hole and find a leather slingshot. The giant did a smashing job of defeating you. Your hand tingles slightly as you look at this jeweled ring. You place the shimmering ring upon your finger. As you rub it, you turn invisible. The giant cannot see you since you are invisible. The giant is getting tired of looking for you. Seems like he may be getting ready to take a nap. Good job! The huge giant, tuckered out from stomping around, has fallen fast asleep.
The giant is asleep with a chest lying next to him. There is a chest near the sleeping giant. Slowly, carefully, you take the chest without waking the giant. 